Oh, my God. Look at me. I am so fat. I never realized how fat I was until I'm looking at this video right now. Oh, my God. I need to join a gym and start training. I need help. Look at me, Jean. I'm disgusting. Oh, God, look at me. I'm disgusting. I need to do something about this weight. Who could possibly help me lose this weight? I know who. This guy right here, he can help me lose this weight. Here's his number and his address. I'm going to call him right now. How do you feel today? Good? How do you feel with 60 pounds left? Fantastic, huh? Right. Okay, so I think you're ready now to neutralize your body. You don't need, you do not need to neutralize your body when to lose 60 pounds of fat. But now you need that to neutralize your body to shape your body. What does that mean, neutralize? Neubertize is, you have three power. The mental power, your physical power, and your emotional power, or, or love what you're doing. And when these three power are in harmony or in communion together, you won't need me anymore. So my duty will be to put them together. You will take maybe three months, six months, one year, but we'll be there. And then uh, my job will be finished. My training is like a religion. It's like, you know, Jean Le Baptiste, Jean Le Baptiste called baptize. So I, I new baptize you today, I start to new baptize you. And I want you to take care of yourself in your body now. So I will teach you how to every power to develop every power in yourself. First of all, is the mental power. is the most powerful thing we have. It's the gift of God. You remember God said, I make you in my image. Okay? So he didn't want to talk about your physique because God, I don't think, he exists physically. He exists mentally and very powerful, right? And if one day you could be develop your power hundred percent, you would be God. It's quite impossible. But if you develop it only maybe twenty five percent, because now we use it only maybe one percent, okay? So t let's go slowly and you can do what you want. Because the mental power is million times more powerful than your physique. And we have the proof today that the mental is so powerful, we can do what we want. If you want something, but you want it with your power of your mental, you can get it. So your physique is nothing. And you need something else. Without love what you're doing, you cannot achieve it because you will be tired and your body will lie to your mind. But with love of what you're doing, no more pain. So, your mind is like a computer, the best computer that the nature of God gives us. Every information has been there since you're born. Even before you're born, we call that genetic. From your family and your family and your family. Then, if you know how to use this computer, it's fantastic. All information since you're born, everything you eat, 
go inside of the computer on your mind. How many vitamins, how many protein in every food, every, every fat, how many mineral, every, many, anything there. And they stock it in the computer. It's there, you don't know it, but your mind know it. And then, if you put love for what you're doing, so it, in communion, you go to say, let's say, today I want to be Miss Universe. But you really want it, not with your mouth, with your brain, your mind. And you love really what you're doing, you really believe in that, you get it. Because everything you do it will be on computer already. Your mind will tell you what to eat today. Because then you have gravies. You say, oh, I want to eat that. It's not by chance. It's because of what you ask your mind, you want to become, you say, okay, she want to be strong, she want to be have more muscle, she want to lose fat. Then you say, if you want to lose fat, she cannot eat that, she cannot eat that. So you don't have the gravy for that. And you say, okay, she have to eat that, eat that because you have more protein in that, and she needs this protein to build your muscle. You understand what I mean? Okay. So follow me. Then, is to put that together, the three power. Your physique is nothing. It's never tired, never. But sometimes, if it's not in communion, it lies. Your physique lies to your mind. And if your mind is weak, you follow your physique. You say, you say okay, oh, I've been here for two hours, I have to go home, okay? So if the mind is weak, you say, okay, let's go home, you're right. But if your mind is powerful, you say, no, let's go, keep going, okay? And then you love what you're doing, you'll never be tired, because your physique is never tired. Only the mind drives your physique. And the mind is never tired, it's powerful, medium time powerful. Everything, if you're tired, it's because you want to be tired. God is tired. You never see God tired, right? So, God put you in the image, so you should not be tired. Okay? Okay. So, emotional power is love what you're doing. Don't come to the gym and say, okay, now I start to train with surge. Easy. No, it's not easy. You have to love what you're doing. It's not to be on magazine, be on cover, is the final of what you, you want. It must be more important for you to come to the gym than to be on stage. The stage is just to show the result of what you did. But the most important thing is to be in the gym. If you don't like to be in the gym, forget it. Okay? And, you know, the nature gives us so many gifts but we don't know how to use it. People use, now they use steroids, they would testosterone because they don't love bodybuilding. They don't love their physique. They don't want to stay in the gym three, four hours. So they have to take substance, chemical substance, to give them the, the same result. But you think the nature did not think about that. If they have testosterone or artificial, it is because nobody invent nothing until now. Everything is a copycat of what is exists already there. So that means you have it in your body already. The testosterone and the steroid. But you don't know how to use it. Because you come to the gym, you don't like it, so you train one hour, big deal. I'll give you an example, for example. You go on the bike for half an hour, you start to sweat. If you stop just after 30 minutes, that means you do not sweat at all. You should uh, go on the bicycle more when you start to sweat, to sweat a lot, right? Why? Because the gland, your gland, sweating gland, start to work. And we have gland for everything in our body. 
you have hormone and gland, your, the gland who make your steroid or your testosterone does not start to strain yet, to work yet, to help you to achieve your goal after half an hour or one hour training. And if you work, work only half an hour or one hour, no result. You have to push your body so the nature or gold have that in your body and you have the natural steroid and the best because a copycat is never better than the original. Okay? So you have to stay in the gym two hours and a half, three hours, and why not four or five hours if you have the time? Push your body and you get the result you have. You understand what I mean? Okay. So love what you're doing, you will have less pain. Don't love just with your mouth, love with your heart. So physical power now. I tell you the like a car. The part of the car is nothing. Okay? Is nothing. What is the more important is the motor with the electricity, everything. That is the, your mental power, okay? So the car keep going if, until you put fuel on it. You cannot say I'm tired, okay? So it's the same thing. Your body is never tired if your mind is powerful. So I could stay today talking with you about this sweet power in, inside of you. You have so many say to say, but slowly you understand what I mean. And your body, you can do what you want. What you want with your body. One year, if you listen to me and start to listen to your body, everything is possible. You know what happened now? You speak English, okay? Your body speaks English, but your brain speaks Spanish, for example. So they don't understand each other. When they will speak the both language together, you do what you want. Because your mind sends um, to uh, your brain send uh, a lot of things to your body, but you don't understand it because they don't speak the same language yet. So my duty is to make them speak the same language. So we're going to start in two days. We're going to start training with the weights. And your man has to be there. OK? So let's go. So every day, before to do anything, we warm up, make some. Uh, to warm up your body. And we start by abdominal. I like to do abdominal first because it's a boring exercise. And most of the time, after training, you say, OK, I don't have time. I'll do it tomorrow. And abdominal is the motor of your body. When you do a lot of abdominal, you never be sick. I never see someone sick in the hospital with good abdominal. But you can have 20 inches arm and be sick. But when you sharp, you are doing a sharp, you cannot be sick. Okay? I never see in the hospital someone with sharp abdominal and be, at least if you make an accident. But by sickness, it don't work. Because abdominal is a sign of uh, health. 20 inches man, uh, arms don't mean you are healthy. But abdomen is health. That means you eat good. And every sickness comes from food. 90% of sickness comes from food. Tell me what you eat, I will tell you what you are. Okay? So abdominal is a very important part in my training. I don't do it only for training, for see the art there. I do it like a, a hygiene, a hygienic thing. So you can eat anything, you burn it, because it's a massage, massage in turn of your body.
And every day, you put five or even one more. But we have to put at least one more. It's very good for the mind. Every day, you challenge yourself. 100, 110 tomorrow, 120. And if you feel good, you could go by 20 more every day until 2000. Okay? So we start. So today we're going to start by 100. Okay? I help you, okay? Okay. You go lay down and you go to touch your feet. And when you go down, don't go all the way up, down. Keep your head up. If not, we have problem with your low back. And bend your knees. Don't let him, don't stretch him. Okay, let's go. Ninety-five, ninety-six. Come on, come on. good. <laughs> Ninety-nine, good. How you feel? Okay, uh, Monday and Thursday we're going to walk chest and quad. So today we're going to start by bench press for your chest, flat bench press. Let's go. You lay down on the bench, yeah. Hold the bar, you touch your poetry and you leave it, the weight. Don't go all the way up, okay? Don't stretch your arms. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Put the bus down. So today we're going to do three sets of everything. Next week we go to four sets, five sets, and six sets. Okay, after bench press, we're going to do dumbbell press flat. So hold the dumbbell like that, okay? And you push it and you close, close it. So you squeeze the muscle on top. Right, okay, like that. Okay. Keep going. Good. Good, yeah. No fast, 
just control it. If you go fast, you cannot, your mind cannot be there. Okay. Twelve. Good. After that, we're going to do flies. Fly, flies, flat bench press. About the same thing than dumbbell press, but instead to push it, you, like you fly, like a bird. Keep your arms nearly slightly bent, but when it's bent, never move it. The angle has to be stay the same. Okay, you see what I mean? Okay. Okay, we start. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Squeeze it. Put your mind there. Yeah. If your mind is into the muscle, you won't feel the pain. Okay? Keep going. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Stop. Okay. Now, it's about the same thing, but we do that with the machine. We call that the uh, crossover. Don't bend your body too much, just slightly bend, so it works the low part of your chest. Okay, like that. Bend, slightly, the same before, slightly bend your arm and go down. Yeah. Okay. Good. You work all this part here. Right. Keep going. Fine. Good. Two more. One and two. Good. And this, you know, your, your shares have three parts. The upper part, medium part, uh, me, me, middle part, and the lower part. If you do bench press flat, you work the whole thing. If you do it incline, on the incline bench, you work the upper part. And if you do decline, you work the low part. So what I do in my training, one day I train flat, the next workout, chest workout, I do incline, and the third one, I do decline. And the fourth one, we mix them together. That's the day you see how we progress together, okay? So, good. Now we're going to do um, dips. But when you do dips, you have to bend your body forward. If you stay too, too straight, you work more your triceps. So we're going to do dips on the dip machine, okay? Come on. Bend over, okay? Okay. Bend, push the weight down. Okay, like that. Okay, good. You feel it there? Just under under your chest here. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Three more. One. Come on. Two. Three. Good. And now we're going to do one of my favorite exercises. It's pullover. It gives you the shape of your chest, the, the cage. But it gives you to a small waist because it's the only exercise who stress the abdominal part. If you do abdominal, you build the muscle. So you come bigger. When you do pullover, you stretch the muscle, so it gives you a nice shape as a small waist. We're going to do that twice, four times a week, with the chest workout and the back workout. So lay down on the bench, okay? Put your legs on the floor. Take the bar, the shoulders size, and go down. Don't bend your arms at all. 
go. Don't go all the way up. Keep the tension on with the weight, okay? You feel your abs too, right? And your low back. Okay, keep going. Okay, good. Good, okay. You feel it there? Your low part there? Good. Okay, two more. One. Two. Okay. And don't forget to stay only 30 seconds between sets. If not, you will lose the, the pump. Because every time you do 12, 12 reps, you put the blood there. But if you stay a long time between sets, you lose the pump. And you work so hard to make the blood come in there. Is why most of the people who train with heavy weight, they look fat. Because they need two or three minutes for recuperation. So each time they lose the, fat, they lose the pump, they don't go. They put fat there because they don't spend too much calories. But when you go with moderate weight, your friend who is trained with heavy weight will leave more weight than you for one set. But in three minutes, you did 10 sets already. So who leave more weight is you, so you spend more calories, right? OK. So now, put your mind there. You finish with your weight, go sit down. Stay five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes rest. Keep your blood there. You put it there, don't jump to another, another, another body part. Because it takes you one hour to put the blood there. And if you jump to another side, you'll, what you do? Yeah. Nothing. Because the blood nourishes the muscle. You bring all the nutrition to the muscle and nourish the muscle. So if you jump, you go to a deal to do legs, you lose the pump right away. Let the blood go away by itself. Okay? You have a better result. And then when sit somewhere, read a magazine, what you want, and get ready for your next exercise. Okay? So next one is quadriceps. Is the most powerful muscle in your body. Very powerful. Your legs is more than half of all the other muscles together. Okay? And you realize today we're going to do chest on quad, the muscle in front. Or the vein brings the muscle out in front of your body. Okay? And quad, it will give you power. And it's good for your heart because you go down and go up. It built your heart. But it's the most powerful, most uh, painful exercise to do. But you like it after. Okay, so we start by squat. Put the bar behind your neck. Put a piece of wood under your heel so you don't bend over too much. So you don't work too much with your low back. Okay? St try to stay, when you go up, start to stay straight. Your body starts to straight. Go all the way down, but don't stop and go all the way up. Don't go all the way up. Maybe one or two inches before the maximum you can go up, okay? So you leave all the tension, the same things on the chest, on your muscle. Okay, let's go. One, go down, yeah, up, good. Two, breathe. When you go up, you... Four. Let's go. Five. Push it, push it. Go. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Three more. One. Don't be afraid. I'm behind you, okay? 
Sui. Good. Okay. How you feel? Four legs is not 30, 30 seconds between sets. It's a very powerful muscle. You pump all the blood there. So we're going to stay 90 seconds for squat, okay? But for the other leg, leg press, uh, high squat, we're going to stay one, uh, one, uh, 60 seconds. Okay, we go to high squat now. It's about the same thing as squat, but you work less your... Uh, so, high squat work less your back. So some people have some problem, they have a, maybe the buttock too develop already, so they will do more hack squat than squat. Because squat built more this part. Okay? So same thing. Put your legs up, up there. Be good. And then you go down completely, but no stop and go up, okay? Let's go. Set of 12. Okay. One. Good. Two. Push it. Three. Don't forget to breathe when you go up, okay? When you push, you put all the air out of your breath. Keep going. Three more. Ten. Eleven. And 12, good. So we do three sets today, okay? 30, 30, 60 seconds, relax. Okay, good. Now we're going to do leg press. Leg press is very powerful for your cage. So you lay down here on the leg machine, the leg press machine. You put your feet very high, so you don't have a problem with your knee, okay? And go all the way down. And when you go down, spin your cage, thoracic, okay? And you push. Same time you push, empty your cage, okay? Okay, good. Let's go, slowly. One. Set of 12, yeah. Two. Three, push it. Okay. Here we can leave a lot of weight, okay? So we can powerful. Okay, good. Three more. Push it. Okay, one. Two. And three. Are you feel good? Hard, huh? Leg is hard. I know it's hard. Okay. So we're going to do the last exercise, is leg extension. It's good for, because you work your low part of your leg there, near the knee. You'll develop more here, but you have to go all the way up. Okay, sit down. Okay, you feel comfortable there? Okay, good. Okay, we start. One, go all the way up. One. Okay. Two, good. Squeeze it. Three. Four. Keep going. Good. Okay, go. You feel it here? Right, good. Let's go. Two more. One and two. Good. Do you finish today? Are you fair? Oh, very good, Serge. I'm ready. <coughs> finish yet? Okay. We go on the bicycle on the treadmill. Sometime we do the, the bicycle one day, treadmill, or the stairmaster. We change it. Okay. <laughs>
So today we're going to do back. Back is the most, uh, it gives you the shape of your body. Big shoulders, small waist, big back. And then we're going to do hamstring and calf. You see again? All the muscle in back today. Back, arm swing, and calf. Okay, you start by back. Okay, we go in the pulley machine there, yeah? And you take a large grip. You stay straight. Don't bend your body backward or forward. Stay straight and pull the weight down, like that. Okay. Good. And we're going to do set of 12 again. And 30 seconds between sets, okay? Okay, let's start. Okay, one. Push. Don't forget to breathe. To When you go, you push the bar. You, you out the air to your body. Five. Six. Seven. Don't move your back. Eight. Nine. Three more. Okay. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Thirty seconds between sets. We're going to do three sets today, as yesterday. Okay. Okay. Now, second exercise. The same thing than. We just do, but instead to put the bar behind your neck, you do it front. So bend on your back a little bit. Yeah, like that. And touch your chest. Don't go all the way up, okay? Keep your tension always on your muscle. Like, that's the key of bodybuilding. Okay, let's go. One. Okay. Flex your chest, okay, and touch it, all right. Four, five, keep going. Good, good, two more. One, and two, how oh, you feel, good? Okay, let's go now. Okay, let's move the bench. We push the bench behind you. So you sit on the bench behind and put your knee against the small chair before, in front of you. This time with a close grip, keep your arms nearly, nearly slightly bent and don't move it anymore. And go to touch your knee, okay? And go all the way up. You walk your back. In this way, making more down. Okay, let's go. Good. Bend more. Okay, good. One. Push. Pull the touch your knee. Okay, each time. Good. Keep going. Good. Three more. One. Two. Go down slowly. Ah, good. Okay. That's one of my favorite exercises. So we have to do it every time, okay? And now we're going to do on the bench. Sit on the bench. Push the bench a little bit back, more back. Put your feet on the chair. Bend your body back. Okay, good. 90 degrees between the, the, the pulley and your body. Uh, large grip. Okay, we go down. Touch your chest. Keep your chest. Flex. Okay. Good. Keep going. Good. Are you feeling good? Okay. Three more. One, two, three. Okay. 
Now we're going to do back rowing. You can do it sitting on the floor or doing sitting on the bench. We can do it one day like that, one day like that, okay? Let's go. You go all the way down. Bend your arc, your back, and you go flex your chest and touch the back. Okay, we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, like that, okay? Keep going. Yeah. Good. Now for, flex your chest. You walk your low back and your back together. Okay? Keep your leg nearly a little bit bent, okay? Three more. One, two, and three. Now let's move to hamstring. Here we have only two machines of hamstring. The lying one and the sitting one. Okay. 
as we have two machines, we're going to do for today five sets of each. And each time we put one set more each week until ten sets of each, okay? Right. So lay down. Okay, like that. Put your weight. Yeah. You don't need heavy weight there. I never use heavy weight anyway. Okay? So you can do this at perfect, no shitting. Okay. Pull the weight until you touch your hamstring. Okay? Okay, good. One. Two. Oh, I forgot to tell you. We we'll do set of 15 for this one, okay? So don't stop at 12. Keep going. Good. Good. Three. 14. 15. Good. And not like squat. For this part, we stay 30 seconds at the upper body. Okay. Let's go to the sitting one. The sitting one, I have two ways to work it sometimes. Set of 15, or I put less weight and I do for 15 minutes no stop. Depends on how many people are in the gym. Because don't forget people waiting for <laughs> on the machine to train, okay? So today we're going to do by set. So we're going to do five sets today, okay? Very easy. You can even watch TV, okay? Okay, let's go. One. Two. Three. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Okay, good. Six. Come on. Seven. Okay. Go squeeze. Two more. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. I make a mistake. I said you can watch TV. No, you cannot watch TV. Be your man. You have to be there. Okay. I just want to, te to test you. Okay. So now, uh, let's go to calf. Calf is the most difficult muscle to train. Most difficult. Why? Because you walk, that's the only muscle who walk all day on you. You go upstairs, you go downstairs, you drive your car, you walk in the street, your calf is always walking, right? But your arms never work during the day, okay? So calf is always walking, so you know what that means, pain. So if you come to the gym and you give him only <laughs> two minutes walking, he's laughing, right? So you have to push him more than any other muscle. And it's the most powerful muscle on someone. Don't forget, all day you have your body weight on you. So don't, uh, don't be afraid to put weight on. So we're going to do four times a week, two days heavy weights. And two days light weights, but a long set. Because it's very powerful, but very resistant too. Because all day you help your body to carry. You carry your body, okay? So today we're going to do heavy weights, okay? So se set of 15 for a heavy day. And day of light weight, you can go to 25 to 50 reps, okay? So normally, it's better to walk this calf without shoes because your legs come more flexible because you have to go all the way down and go all the way up. So sit down, we go to start by sitting one first. Sit down, okay? Go all the way up. Good. Sing, put your mind in your calf. You need your help of your mental power, okay? You, you would never be tired. You work all day. Keep going. Three more. 13, 14, 15, good. Stay sitting, don't move. You have to leave the blood there. Because if you walk and you, you stretch your calf, all the, 
also time you take to put the blood there, you lose the pump. When you work your arms, don't forget when you finish your thing, it stays there. But if you work on your calf, you lose the pump, then you have to start again to put the blood there, so test it. In. Okay? Okay. It's why it's difficult to walk calf with a partner. Is it time you stand up here, okay? So let's go to the standing one now. The standing one, you walk. The sitting one walk more the outside of your calf. The standing one will walk more inside. Okay. Same thing. Go all the way down, all the way up. Okay. Okay, keep going. Good. Put your mind in your, put the cut into your mind, okay? Don't forget, your mind cannot think two things at the same time. If you focus on your calf, you don't feel the pain anymore. Okay, two more. Fourteen, fifteen. Good. Okay, sit down. Don't stay standing on your calf because you will lose the pump. Okay? Okay. Oh, I have something to tell you too. I see some people, they do calf with feet wide or close. It's not that to work the internal or external part. If you put your tension on the outside of your feet, you will work the internal part. If you put the tension in on this part of your feet, you will work the extend part of your calf, okay? Good. So don't forget that. So now we go to the donkey machine. Okay. Same thing. Push it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Slowly. Put your calf into your mind. Right. Come on, keep going. Two more. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good. Are you fair? No, don't move. Stay sitting there. Sit there. Leave the blood there. And you have to leave the blood there for fifteen minutes. <laughs> I never do biceps or triceps the day of my chest or the day of my back because when I do chest or back, I work my arms a lot already. So I do it the shoulders day. It's a small muscle. So we can work four muscles because they're small. They don't need a lot of blood, a lot of pump. Okay? So shoulders is a very important muscle too. If you have wide shoulders, you look good, right? And more is white, more your waist looks small. Okay. So we're going to use the Smith machine for the beginning, okay? But I prefer myself military press. I don't use the uh, machine too much because you always have problem with the articulation with your joint. Okay. So sit down here. Straight. Don't move your body. Large grip. Yeah. Okay. You will go behind your neck. Don't go all the way down. Because if you go all the way down, you lose the pump, the flex, uh, 
you use this tension on your muscle. Okay? Stay here, go always up. Okay? So in this way you have coconut, I call that coconut shoulders. Okay, okay. Go down. Okay, good. Push it. Okay. Three. Four. Five. You feel it? Six. Keep going. Push it. Yeah, put your man there. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, okay, good. You feel it, huh? Don't forget muscle is very pain. painful muscle to train. Because the pump comes right away and you don't know how to how to behave yourself after you don't know which position to take, okay? Okay. Now we do the same thing in front. We do three sets today of that. So the next week, four sets and so on. So now we're going to do front. Same thing. Don't go all the way down. Keep at go to your nose and always up. No stop. Okay, good. A little bit less wide. Okay? Than the one before. Okay. Keep going. Your nose all the way up. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Okay, good. Good job. Come on. Yeah. Push it. Yeah. Three more. Ten. 11, 12. Good. So now, after the French press front, we're going to do some uh, elevation with dumbbell uh, for the front part of the shoulders. and we go all the way up to your forehead. Don't stop to your chest. Because only if you stop your chest, you work on your trapezium yet. It's only when you go above your chest, you start to work on your shoulders, okay? I saw so many mistakes in the gym. People, they think they train shoulders, but they train just trapezium. Okay. Okay, all the way up. All right, good. Good. Keep going. Good. Right. Two more. Eleven. Twelve. And if you do the same as I said, bend over, you work the front part of your shoulders. If you bend back on your back, you work your low part your, your way of shoulders, okay? So, same thing. One day you can do straight, uh, bend over, next day bend on your back. Or you, six sets, you can do two sets like that, two sets like that, and two sets like that, okay? Okay. So now we go to lying on the floor. They call it this one they call it surge new exercise. I think that's the best exercise to work your way of shoulders. You lay on the floor, your body straight, put your shoulders inside. So you don't have to, you don't want to move, go back on your back too much because you want to work. Put your upper legs far away in front of you. So you don't move. And keep your arm nearly straight and go. Don't go all the way back, all the way 
touch the floor nearly and go. Stop half, I would say, two inches, two inches before the complete exercise. Don't go all the way up, okay? Seven, come on. Eight, good. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Watch away. Change the size. Go on your left side or right side, okay? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget your uh, upper legs and above, okay? Okay. Good. Same thing. Set of 12, huh? Okay. Three more. 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Just to finish the workout, the wear part, we're going to do the pulley wear shoulders. That's very difficult to do. It's like back, but instead to keep your arms like you do back, you block your shoulders. You, you lock it. You cannot go far. You cannot touch your chest because your shoulder is locked. Okay? And then you go. Always have eyes to see if your elbow is blocked and your shoulder is blocked, okay? And you walk only this part of your shoulders, your rear shoulders, okay? It's very difficult to do, but after a few, few times, you know how to do it, okay? okay keep going. Flex your chest. Don't move your chest. Just your arms move. Okay, good. Two more. Eleven, twelve, good. Let's finish for shoulders. Okay, so now we're going to do bicep triceps. You see, we work your back so much, you work your chest so much, so during the two first day, so your arms is already sore. Your arms is already sore, bicep and tricep. Because when you do bicep uh, chest, you work your triceps, and when you do back, you work your arms. So what we're going to do, we're going to do about only 15 minutes on your back, on your arms. We're going to do the first exercise only for biceps. We call that curl with bar. Okay? Bend over slightly. Don't move your body anymore. Only your arms are to move. You don't need 200 pounds there. You will see, because if you have 200 pounds, you will use your lower back. So it's not your arms anymore working, your lower back, your legs. Take the weight you need, okay? And keep going. Okay, like that, okay. Don't move your body at all. Okay? Like that. Two more. 11, 12. Good. And now, we do three sets, as usual, 12. After next week, we do four sets, huh? until six. And now we're going to do super set. Because it's a very small muscle. You have blood to pump both at the same time. And it's good for your mind, because both muscles are pumped, so you look bigger in the mirror. So you feel good, so you train harder. OK? So the same thing, let's go. We're going to do on the bicep machine and the pulley triceps, OK? 12 sets there, 12 set reps there, and 12 reps there. Keep going, no stop, OK? So you leave the blood there. Same thing, OK, good. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay, good. We're going to do the same thing now. Concentrate curl with the dumbbell. And then triceps with the, the dumbbell too, okay? Super set, same thing. We keep the blood there. Same thing. One, go all the way down, but no stop. 
goes up. Two, three, four. Keep going. Put your basal peak to your mind so you don't feel the pain anymore, okay? Okay, good. Two more. Eleven, twelve. Good. Change arm now. Same thing with the left arms until twelve, okay? Good. As we start by biceps alone, we're going to finish by triceps alone. With a bar, lying on the bench, close your elbow, touch your forehead, and go up. Okay, good. Squeeze the muscle. Okay. Squeeze it, go all the way up. All right. Mm -hmm. Two more. Two, good. Train by correspondence, call Surge on this 900 number. To perfectly form your entire body, be sure to order all three of Surge's training tapes. how to use the training system chart. You will see each card shows which day you are to be working. This is for the second and fifth day, where you work back, hamstrings, calf, and make sure you work your abs every single day. Over here, you'll have the description of what you are to be working. We'll look at that in a minute. Here's the sets where you'll be doing eight sets at, with 12 reps. Then you will notice 
a day for each day of the month where you will fill in what you have done. For example, this says B1. We flip the chart over and see B1, which says to work pull down behind the back a large group. Once you've worked that, you will do eight sets with 12 reps and you go ahead and fill in each day. Using this system, you will find an easy, convenient, and concise way in order to keep track of your training program system.
bodybuilding is not only a sport, but it's all all also the base of all kinds of sport. Every kind of sport you use your muscle. He's a sport by himself, but he's a, uh, he's a art too. It's not like all the sport, it's an art and the sport together. And when you understand that, you can build your body the way you want. And if you think it's only a sport, so you mix something. Because it's easy to be big, have the muscle, but without shape is not enough. I think everybody agrees with me about this definition. And you must understand too that uh, you need your brain and your concentration for build your muscle. It's why I invite today Martin, I saw his show yesterday, and you know, I've been training for 29 years. I never studied um, uh, in practice. And I spoke with him quite a long time, and everything I said, and he told me, was exactly the same. I mean, you can uh, build your muscle with your mind, and you don't need to take heavy weights. Because if you take heavy weights, you cannot be into your muscle. You, your brain and your concentration will be in the weights, not into your muscle. Okay? So it's, I start by that today, because it's there maybe, we, as you, the seminar will be very long, and you know he's busy, and if he have to go, so I prefer to start by this thing. So if I have some questions, or you have some questions to ask him, he can maybe answer and help us. Okay? So, uh, we're going to, we have people who come to the gym just to be fit. And we have some who come maybe a little bit for a little bit more, but they don't want to be uh, world champion or even Miss Australian champion. And you have those who come, they want to be a champion. And some come for because the doctor tells them to go there for. And sometimes these people come a champion, you know. And we start today by people who come just to be fit. And I say, I would say, you need at least one hour a day, six days a week. That's a minimum. Some people say, okay, I don't have time to make one hour a day. You find the time, really, if you want, uh, you want to be fit. You have always some time. You find it in the morning before going to work, or afternoon, after working in the mo uh, evening. And but some the people, for some reason, they can train maybe three times a week, only one hour. It's better than nothing. So for those who can come only one hour a day and be fit, you can make a, a super set. I mean, all the muscle together, because you don't look for size. So I would say you can make twice a week each group of muscle, or three times a week, depend if you you have to lose weight or if you have to gain weight. The people who have to gain weight, I would say better two, a little bit longer, each section of workout. And this one who have to lose weight, let's say three week, three times a week. So we devise the day I give you a proposal. Monday for people who can come and twice a week uh, <coughs> work the muscle two twice a week 
on Monday, Tuesday, you make legs, not Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Thursday, legs on chest. I choose this muscle because ma Sunday you're resting. And a lot of people who stay in the TV, in front of the TV or go somewhere, they don't train, so they put some calories in the body. And it's why all of the gym, they are more busy on Monday. And people come more in the gym on Monday because they want to lose some, maybe the kilos they take in the weekend. So we start by the big muscle. I would say quadriceps. So you make squat, leg press, and leg extension. 15 sets, if you can, 20 sets. It seems a lot, but you work. And after you make chest, because that's a part of your upper body will leave more weight, so you will lose more calories. So you have to say, if you take one kilo more in the weekend, when you finish your training, you must have one kilo le less. Okay, and abs every day. Abs is easy. You start by 50 sit-ups, easy, everybody can do that. 50 sit-ups, no stop. Everybody can do that, sure. Who cannot make 50 sit-ups? <laughs> okay, then the day after, you make 51. And every day you put one more. In the end of the yeah, you make 300 and 400 because you, have, you start by 50. Okay? It's easy. And you make leg raise on the bench and you make five sets of, let's say, for people who have big legs and they cannot do it, do it easy, 15 or 20, 25, and every week put one more. At the end of the year you will be, uh, you have 53 uh, uh, weekend, a week, so make 50 plus 20, you make 70. It's very easy. So you make abs, and for chest you make bench press, and two other exercises. But bench press, every workout for chest. And the same for legs. The principal uh, uh, exercise for legs, quadriceps is squat, for uh, chest is uh, bench press, for shoulders is press behind head, for back, shin, for leg, leg, uh, leg biceps, if you have only one, leg extension, for what else you have? Uh, arm is it's not a muscle, it's too small. <laughs> okay, so on Tuesday and Tuesday and Friday, you make your leg biceps plus your back and abs. Leg bicep, 15, 20 sets. Some people say just make five sets of leg, st uh, leg uh, bicep, and they think they work your leg, the leg bicep. The leg bicep is very nice muscle, give you the real shape of your legs. So you make between exactly the same quantity of exercise for each muscle, I say arms. And you make 15 or 20 sets, depending on how long, how quick you can walk and how long, how, if you have one hour, maybe one hour, 10 minutes, 
make a little bit more. And after your back, our shin, sometimes it's difficult to do it in the beginning, so you make, uh, you try every day to make m more shin, because the real is, the exercise will give you the back. But if you cannot, you make what you can do, you do what you can do, but after you make uh, pulley, pulley behind head. And try to put some more weights to improve for your shin after. And you can make this one I did with a towel. You can make this one, you know, bending on the back. But don't move, always straight. Every exercise has to be well done. That is very important. You cannot be here in the muscle if you move. And after, you have a rowing, but every day you make three. Shane, if you can make six set or on two other ones. And abs, same thing. So 51, 50. And uh, same thing for leg raise. And Wednesday and Saturday, you make three small muscles like calf, uh, shoulders, and arms. Arms is a, you work it already t twice. Because you work, biceps work always with when you make your back. And triceps work always when you make your, sh your chest. So you, you did it already twice in the week, so you don't need so many uh, uh, set, uh, sets. And you try to make it super set. I never work, I, the only group of muscle I, tr I train in super set uh, because it's a small muscle and we have enough blood to have the pump. <coughs> and it's good for the mind because you train in front of the mirror and if you make one set of uh, bicep, one set of tricep, your arm look bigger if you train only your bicep or only your triceps. So you feel more happy and if you are happy, you go more on it and your concentration is better. It's just for that. But you ha will have the same result if you make it one after the other one if your concentration can be the same. Okay? And same thing, you do your abs. Calf is a very difficult muscle to train because you work all the day. That is one of the muscles who work all the day. When you walk, you go, you go upstairs, coming down. It's always working. It's why it's difficult to increase quickly. Uh, the size. So, as your body weight is already quite heavy, so you have to train with more weight than your body. When I say more weights, it can be the weights really, or your, the weight you want to put here. You see me, you, you saw me when I was doing back. When I make 15 sets, see 15 reps, I feel pain, really. I'm not a good actor. I really feel pain. And every time I feel the same pain, I just put some weight more in my mind. But maybe you are not ready to do that yet. So you can use the weight a little bit. But try to work your mind to don't move the weight and concentrate on the weight you want to put Really. So we, you won't have any injuries, injuries, and uh, I have been training for 29 years. I don't remember I have injuries at all. And I'm sure if I was training with heavy weight, I won't be here today. And uh, I will maybe look maybe 
one year or two years older. So my routine, my training is always with people think is lightweight. That is not lightweight because I, why I tell people to try to work with me? Because the first set, okay, you make 15. You look easy, but you come, come very quick. And then you can go up. You have to be used to do it. And can you make the uh, back with me? First guy, who is it? How you feel? Good? As a pump was, very quick. And so, what I mean, you, you have to find the pump very quick and keep the blood into the, the muscle you're training as long as possible. Because the blood will carry the protein and nourish the muscle. People tell me why you don't use heavy weights, and uh, because heavy weights will give you the muscle. I say, how the heavy weights can give you the muscle? Because can you tell me a weightlifter who have really big muscle and they use very, very, very heavy weights? And why the power lifter don't have a big muscle? Because they don't need, they don't find the pump because they use always in the training routine heavy weights and they waste five minutes after each shift. So every time the muscle come into the pump, in the, uh, the blood is coming into the muscle, and after five minutes you go away and come back, and you, you don't have it, enough time to stay into the muscle to nourish. That's it, easy. Okay? Most of the poor lifter and the weight lifting, they have the muscle to be strong, but not to be strong and resistant. We have the muscle to be resistant first and strong after. I can bench press 220 kilo. I walk on the bench press with 70 kilo. But you have to be used to that. I think in the beginning it's harder than the other method. But after you enjoy yourself, it's very, I will never train six hours a day if I have to use heavy weights. Because I, I enjoy to go to the gym because it's easy and you work very well your mind and for the rest of your life, I don't speak, I don't speak about only bodybuilding, that your mind comes strong for everything, for your job, for everything. Okay. So you make two things at the same time. You do a little bit uh, hypnotic. We, not sh sh we must not use this word. Is, uh, what's the name? Is suggestion. Suggestion is nice. Because I, I, heard, I saw the TV. They said you not sh you must not do this thing. And uh, this is why you use this uh, word. But I, I must tell you, you were very good. I was I enjoyed it very much yesterday, and I learned a lot of things. Uh, I mean, I the thing I was using, I did not know uh, to translate it in this way. Now I, I can go even far, and I know it's possible to have the muscle without weights. Same thing. You can take a, let's say for bench press, just take a stick and think you have 100 kilo, whatever, and have the muscle, but you must be stronger and very strong. You know, when the yogi people, they go on the ice and they, they burn the ice. But <coughs> if you are not used, you stay there forever. You have to use to say, I'm not cold, I'm not cold, I feel warm, I feel warm, and then if you come to one of the degrees, the ice, so that's the way, that you have to go slowly to do this kind of thing. And if you think bodybuilder is an art, even more than a sport, it will help you. It's why I train, I train always in tank top and short, because it's not because I, I, I 
I want to say I prove something in the gym so that I have a nice muscle, good muscle. No, it's not that. It's just be because I cannot concentrate on my muscle if I don't see it. If you are a painter, can you believe you can make a good, good uh, drawing? If you put a glass, uh, if you are blind, blind, or you put a glass very black on your eyes, no, okay? That's the same thing. Because the concentration, you can maybe do it, but your concentration of alcohol have to be stronger than that. Because you have to make a, to, to visualize your body, uh, your mind in the muscle that you don't see and do all this. It's too difficult. You could just train it in ten top and short. And first, if you have some deficient muscle, as the people say, oh yes, you have to put shoulders, but look, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a sh I don't know, it's a calf. And so, you have two things. Leave the gym or your, walk your calf. Because they will say, oh, shoulder is good, but look, look, it's calf. So you have to walk your calf because every day you will hear that in the gym. And <laughs> what do you love me for? That's your case? <laughs> okay, that is always, uh, you have to show your weak points in the gym. That's the only way to do it. Some people, they don't have calves, so they put, they have back legs, they put trousers and keep them. And if there's contrary, they put the legs there and put something inside, or don't show the abs, never, you know. That, that's the wrong way. Okay, so next year, when I come here, I would like to see everybody training with short. You have to buy a lot of short, eh? short to sell. And more you see, more you can work better. All right? So, we talk, but I did not tell you exactly how many uh, reps by set for the people who want, who want to be fit. Two people. One, he cannot take, uh, he cannot put weight on, easy. He have to, that means this guy usually is nervous, he's nervous and his gland, thyroidian gland go uh, fast. His matter is very quick, so he have to be careful, slowly, not slowly, uh, don't try to control himself. I don't say slowly in the training, but slowly the way he, between the two is side. Don't be nervous, you have to slow down. And make 12 webs by sets. Okay? And about 15 to 20 sets for every muscle, except the arms. Arms, I will say about 10, 12 set, depend how is arm a weak point or a big point. And the calf is a, even more, I would say between 20 and 25. Because he used to walk, so you have to walk him more than the other muscles. That is for uh, to keep fit. <coughs> laughing again. <laughs> That's what you're doing now, and you go to contest, okay? All right. And for people who a little bit is difficult to lose weight, some people should just eat a, a yogurt and become fat. So they have to work harder. I would say minimum 20 sets of minimum 12 reps. Do as I do today, 12, 13, 14. That helps you to count first and to know how many series you do. You, you don't have to, uh, how many series, so you know what you weigh, how many, how many series you did. Set the series, set. And uh, I'm happy I have her here today. Uh, and this guy have to be usually is uh, slow. He, he like to eat. He's slow. 
is uh, lazy. So try to don't be lazy in the gym. So you have to work more and minimum set be, be minimum OS between sets. Okay? He have to burn more calories than he eat. Sometimes people ask me which kind of I want to uh, to lose uh, some or to gain some weight there. Which kind of this exercise you tell me to do? That not exist exercise for losing or to gain. The only way to lose is to burn more calories and eat less calories. That is the only way to lose. And anything you will do in bodybuilding is to put more muscle. Anything you can do, even uh, abs, is to put more abs. Free squat is to put more legs. But if you burn more calories, so you will lose the weight as a fat, and you will take a little bit muscle. So you will find the cut on your legs. But it don't exist in bodybuilding um, uh, exercise for losing muscle. It's impossible. Okay? Right. So now, for people who want to think, start to think about maybe I would like to go to the beach looking a little bit, like a bodybuilder a little bit. So, but don't do that. I hate that when people go to the beach and start to, to do that. It kills again people, you know. They don't, uh, because, because bodybuilding is one, uh, only sport you can see is a bodybuilder. You can be the best tennis player, the best anything. Only boxer, you can see your boxer. Uh, but uh, any kind of sport you cannot see is a, uh, that bodybuilding is one, the only one sport right away you can see your bodybuilder. It's why we are so criticized. So please, when you go to the beach, try to, I know it's difficult, but try to stay a man first or a girl first, don't try to go to the beach and do that. Or with a towel before <laughs> to go on the, into the water <laughs> because people, what they say, they think you get your muscle with this kind of exercise. Okay, that is just for the game, for have a better image of your body. And for all those people, they have to work more. I would say six days a week minimum two hours. That's a minimum. But three hours is better. Four hours are more better. Okay. And they say two hours. So same thing. Depend. If you fat, it's better to train three times a week your muscle. If you uh, difficult for you to gain weight twice, but each, each um, session has to be a little bit longer because the, the muscle will waste more for three days after each uh, session. So the same kind, Monday, Thursday, and you have to be careful of your protein. The first one don't have to be really careful of the protein because you just want to be fit, you don't want to have muscle. Because people come to the gym, I don't want to look like such a boy, you know. And so, just a little bit muscle, lose the fat, so you don't need, just eat like a, a, any other sportive. Just eat a sportman, okay? But the second one have to put muscle on, so you need protein to put more mass of muscle. Mass of body, uh, muscle, not mass of, because people say body weight. We don't talk, I, I never talk about body weight. The word I 
Danish in my training. I speak about mass of muscle. It's better to take one kilo of muscle a year than take ten, ten kilo and one kilo of muscle, ten kilo, nine kilo of fat. You will look much better with one kilo of muscle alone. You take that ten kilo of fat because fat is it makes you more even more ugly than you was before. <laughs> because you always take fat here. Always the first way you take fat is here and it here for the ladies, so it's better to take one kilo slowly. And I will tell you after how to eat protein because I don't want to miss both. And you have to start to work with, with his mind. The first one, he can use the weight. You don't have to too much to work with that. But the second one, you have to start. You have to say, okay, you have to read the magazine. He said, oh, this guy, I don't know, Frank Zinn. Or uh, Bob Paris. I want this muscle kind of muscle. Not so many people want uh, Tom Platt's muscle. They, that is different thing. People uh, say Tom Platt's is a phenomenon. But I don't think nobody would like to look like him. Some people that uh, is not uh, maybe one person. But <laughs> no, uh, no, I mean, I don't think, uh, no, Tom Platt's a very good friend of mine. I don't mean, I mean, uh, a young kid, a young bodybuilder, they would like to look like Tom Platz. But if you want to go to Mr. Olympia Countess, you have to look like people who have been Mr. Olympia, or what they're looking for, for to be Mr. Olympia. So I mean, the shape first. Shape is the first thing in bodybuilding. Then come the mass and the definition together. <coughs> so you should the, the shape you like. That's the most difficult thing to train. Shape is a very difficult thing to, to improve. Mass is easy. Training, eating well, that's easy. But shape, you, know, you cannot do that with only sleeping. You have to work here. You can transform your, but slowly, 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 you know, with your mind. So, if you want really to succeed, you have to work like that. But some people, they are just born like that, and show that uh, proportion than all the other parts of his body. So you have to train it in first, in priority. Because when he comes to the gym, he's not tired at all. He comes, he says, I have to do my back or whatever. He comes there, he's ready. The first is that you're always ready. After you, more you go, more you're tired. Here, uh, with the muscle, but with the mind too. So you have to train first the weak points. And stay, if you have time, half an hour between his weak points and the other uh, body part. And if you don't have time, minimum 10, 15 minutes, to leave the blood there and to increase as quick as possible the difference. Okay? <clears throat> right. The training is about the same thing, always. Training at the least 25% only. Uh, but you increase the number of sets, I would say between 20 and 30 sets. Rest, about 37. Two people only. We was to work training when we make a back, it was too long between four to three people. That's why I did not find the pump. But two people, you go quicker. 
een boom, boom, zult hij stellen. Het is hard te doen in het begin, maar na drie, twee maanden zal je het gebruiken. En niet minimaal dan twaalf webs per set. En soms, als je je voelt tijd, dan neem je de wet af. Just stay, maybe or stay to stay 30 seconds, stay 35 or 40 seconds. If you are not tired, don't put the weight. <coughs> don't put too more, much, more weight. Go down, or stay to stay 30 seconds, stay 25 seconds. You lose time to put and take off, you know. And you gain time if you just change the Five seconds or ten seconds more. Unless uh, with the weight, if you put too much weight, you cannot be concentrated. And you have to program again your your brain because the weight change. Okay. When I was doing back, I feel pain with 15, 16, 17, 18. I make 20. Same thing. And I make 40, I think. The last set. I can do maybe 60 or 100. I just put much weight. Not in the machine, but here. That's it, finish. And what we were talking yesterday about if it is possible to. I think it's possible with your mind. Uh, because he, he uses hypnotic, so that means he can go into you and then I, I said if it's possible to uh, with the same way that I said like you make fly for example with 10 kilo and if he can tell you it's not 10 kilo it's 50 kilo what will happen so boom and I'm sure that is possible and when I train some I train People in my gym in Paris to go to the World Championship. I train them, and I am I have to make them believe that they are, they are the best in the world. That is harder because for myself I can do it, but for him I have to go inside of the guy, make him believe in that, and then program it him to. Do that, and that is that is a two. Uh, is a you have to cre create the atmosphere in the gym. Depend of the people. I trained Kawak like that when he was training for the World Cup, Mr. Universe in London. I said at the first year, I tell him you're going to beat Scala, and Kawak nobody know him at this day. You no, know, they have never been out of France and. Uh, Tell me, uh, you think that there's no problem? You beat Kawak. I saw Kawak. Everything on you is better than Kawak. Even if I don't, Skalak, Skalak, Skalak. You know Skalak, Skalak. So you have better legs than him. You have better everything. Better pose, pose. Even if I don't think really that everything, I, I have to believe in myself. But I have to make him believe. And if. You have positive people and negative people. People who want always to be, uh, say, oh, you are the best, you are the best, you are the best. And they like that. And you have people who, the contrary, you have to shock them, say, oh, if we put it, uh, beat you. And then they work. So you must know who kind of people you have in front of you and then you can, you can create the atmosphere of the gym. So for Kawak, I know is a kind of guy. I have to make him believe first he will beat Scala, and after the year, after uh, uh, Obi Robinson. And I have to make him believe that, and in the gym, I have a gym of maybe 100 people trained for contests go to contest so it's easy to do it because they know everybody so I 
that makes other people jealous. So they were against Kawak in the gym. So Kawak have a lot of enemy. So he have to train hard to show first the people he would be cut as Kawak. Yeah, and he would beat uh, Robbie Robinson. This to show how far the brain and the concentration can go into the, the training. And that is my method. So, the guy who wants to go in competition have to work. The, the priority is concentration. And with the concentration, he don't have problem to find all his own routine. Because everybody ha will have is I have what I tell you today is good for me, and is that, that, that have to be a base for you, a base for you. And then you, from this base, you translate it uh, for you. Depend on what you eat, what how you are slow or well, a nervous person. Okay, and choose exactly the exercise you like. If you like. Uh, one exercise, do it because you will go easier inside of the exercise. Don't try to find difficult exercise like uh, people ask people make tricep like that. Oh. First of all, you have to make a very concentrated, uh, a very concentration to keep your arms as well because the natural thing is be like that. The one first, you have to make concentration first to keep your arm like that and then another concentration on the muscle. And you cannot be, people can do thing, two things in time that is more difficult. But if you, that is a normal position. If you do tricep like that, if you don't have to think, you think only once, or one, only one thing. Don't try to make a difficult thing. And same thing for any kind of exercise. So, and now you have people who already uh, have been in contests, and the training, the concentration starts already for the other one and this one. The one who want really start to go in international contests or national contests like we have Mr. Australia. So that is more about nutrition, that training. Because he will be ready for concentration. He will be, every year he becomes uh, stronger here. And then nutrition is very important. Uh, heavy weights. Some people like Bertie Fox, uh, I know a few guys who train with heavy weights. When I knew Arnold in the beginning, he was uh, training with heavy weights. And I don't know uh, if you remember the Arnold picture when he started in Austria and how he looked after when he went to America. But after Arnold trained, with light weights. When only in pumping iron, he put some more weights because of money. Okay, but when he trained a countess, he trained with 12, 15 reps, I saw him. And Arnold, Arnold is a, a very strong guy too, in his mind. And uh, you have maybe a, a heavy duty one, Menzer who say heavy duty, but I think uh, that is only for selling book. If I tell you today, uh, when you, I know some of you w go home today, you say, oh yeah, he say, I know, a new boy, I cannot follow his routine because it's too hard. I won't sell any book if I put that on my book. You cannot build a muscle with three, three webs, no, no way. If you clever enough, you will understand easy that the blood knows the muscle. How can you find the pump with three reps? 
three, uh, not three web three, three set of uh, seven or six, no, no way. Maybe go home. And he, he's very strong here. When he sleep, he, he walk with his mind, but, but I don't believe it. Okay? Heavyweight will give you big mass of like Dirty Fox, like uh, Top Lad, maybe, like uh, Menzer, but not in a shape. And one day you will have to pay it because your bone is not, have not been made for such muscle for 20 years or 30 years. You will have problems with your back, with your shoulders, with your knee, everywhere. And your body is not better for so, so many injuries. I never had the injuries in my life, and I hope for the next 10 or 20 years I have to train, I will look the same, and that's it. So, that's all about training. It's very easy. If anybody has question about training, what they say downstairs, and people who train with heavyweights can give me the impression, and we can have maybe a contradictory con 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 speaking. And I will try to show him I'm right. Maybe he's going to show, show me I'm wrong. Okay? So we start. Where am I? There? Yeah. yeah. No, no, you ask me. You have to ask me why. Okay. That's, that's the question. Uh, uh, it's not just... Uh, I'll tell you. You have to look at you in the mirror to see the shape. I don't put that, I don't see the shape because the thing. And with number four hole I have here, I try to put it there. And if I find it's too tight, I know I have to eat less tonight. <laughs> okay? Exactly, I never change my routine. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes, maybe once every three months, I try to know where I am in the beginning. Uh, in each, uh, like a, a squat or bench press, or to try to know how much kilo I can lift. And once, same thing, every maybe three months, or four months, one year a year. I try to make a, a training with heavy weights, you know, to do uh, how many kilo I can make with 180 kilo, you know, but once, so I don't have injuries. Huh? <laughs> if, I, if I make aerobics, running and cycle. No. No one of them. Uh, if you have time, you can do it. And it's good for the heart, but be careful of the mass of the pecs, because when you want, you can move and you can, you can break the fibre. Okay? The fibre of the, the muscle, okay? So it's good for the heart, you can do it. Uh, aerobic. You know, when you, why you make aerobic? Why? Okay, you run or you can make some bicycle. But some people make aerobic to lose weight. 
after 1,000 sea tops, I don't need it. <laughs> okay? Um, I did not tell you about abs. Uh, abs is the is the motor of your body. The is that exercise really is the best for the your health first. Never you will go to the hospital and see someone lying on the bed with big abs like that. Never. Only if you make an accident, car accident, so. Nobody, everybody can know that, but people cannot be sick with abs when you have abs, because that every kind of sickness comes from food. You know, every kind of sickness comes from food, and then that is the motor of the food. When you make abs, I don't say 20, 20 abs and 20. I say abs, 1,000, oh, one hour every day, you can be sick, okay? I make about, when I go to contest, I make my abs, it's about two hours abs a day. I make one hour sit-ups, I make 1,700. And after I make seven set of leg waves, and only in the last months I make twists for one hour. Twists, you don't have to do it if you don't diet because you don't have muscle in there. It's just to, to lose some, uh, some calories. So if you don't, you're not on diet, don't make it. But helps always because it's a muscle. Okay? I have some girls in my gym. Then she do 5,000 sit up no stop. <laughs> No, that gin. But I make a lot for my waist. I make a pullover because pullover. I think I, every I make pullover. I say six days a week, one day with my back and one day with my chest body. And pull, but you have to think when you go. Uh, I make a uh, uh, twist for that too. Uh, that means uh, when you have small waist, the, as soon you take, you put weight on, it's here. Because the nature is like that, your body is a computer, you know? And so you, you know you have a small waist, so you have to protect you and put something here to help you. So <laughs> when you want to lose it, you have to get, uh, huh? Yeah. Uh, I make, uh, I control myself too before I count this, in front of the mirror to make abs moving, you know. You saw, you saw it? Okay. No, that is, I did not see, I know one person can do it in this way. It's not, it's not uh, something you can do. It's only because here, my, I don't know the name in, in English, it's, very large between the two. So when I and I <laughs> but if everybody usually uh, all the body but everybody the two abs is already tight together. So you cannot do nothing. It's too close. Some people can move like that. But no, no, never. As I know, one people can do that. <laughs> but we're not finished about training yet. <laughs> so. No. Uh, Depend of uh, how many, how fast. Metabolism you have, how fast your muscle can relax, can uh, rest, and how you, what you eat, you know? I used to, before, as I walk my chest three times a week. Now I don't need it. Because it's already there, I don't want to have more because I will have to 
more and more you never finish. So uh, I do twice a week. And that is one of the exercises, uh, part of my body I don't like to do. Uh, I hate the uh, bench press and uh, I prefer to back or whatever. Back, calf. Yeah, do sweet time. Depend, you have to, uh, you have to.
And you, you, have, you have time. Take your time. Like a wine. Don't try to be Mr. Universe in one year. Okay? Take your time and try it two months and wish if two, twice a week is better for you, you make it twice. If it's three times, but you cannot see that in, in one week. You have to see it in two months or three months. Which one is the best for you, okay? Uh, when I, I travel, yes, I have break because it is a plan, but if I have the plan, maybe even if I, take, I, I have to train the day, if it's a one hour, you remember when you come to pick me in the airport, I tell him what time I have to go to train. I have to train because I cannot sleep if I, I feel guilty. I, uh, I, train, I stop in my career some years, one time three years in a row. I was fed up and I went back to see Mr. Europe Pantes and the day after I was in the gym. But I did not lose nothing. I, my armor was still 52 in three years top. And uh, what else? I stop when I make movie. Um, the team I was training in 1958, uh, they have one day for men, one day for girls. I feel, oh, I can't do that. So, uh, as a kid, early in the morning, to the owner of the gym, to go to train. You know, when I come to the gym, that's the different thing, you know, I come to the gym, first thing I ask, um, who is the world champion? They told me Arthur Robin. You know, remember Arthur Robin? He was uh, Mr. Universe in 1957. So when I come to the gym, they told me Arthur Robin, I said, oh, how, because I, before I come, I take my, my arm, he was 34, you know, strong. You know. And they, I said, they told me he's 48. I said, no, it's not possible, because I thought I was already good. And I said, okay, I will be world champion in two months, two years. And the guy told me, he just laughed, you know. And two years I was world champion. I come for, to be champion in the gym. I was really good. But before, I make uh, quite a lot of sports before, so I always... It's why I, people don't have to start uh, very early, uh, very young. It's better even to make some other sport, like uh, swimming, to get ready. And you told me about bicycle. I did not answer to you. Say. Ah, cycling. What does that mean exactly? Cycling my training. No. I just listen my my muscle. You know, she, uh, my muscle always speak to me, and I speak to him. But you, your muscle speak to you, but you don't, don't understand him. You speak in in English, and he speak to you in French. But, <laughs> One day you will understand your master. He will tell you what, what you have to do. <laughs> if you like what you're doing enough. Okay? You have to have a, 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 something in your mind why you're doing something. So, as I said, I'm not going to compete anymore. So, I must find something else. So, the something else is to keep you in shape. I want to be on stage when I will be 60 in the world championship and look as everybody on stage. People will have 20 years old. So I, I just uh, make the computer, I make the program for that. So I have a, another help for what I'm going to do in the 10 years coming. In gold, gold for what I'm going to do in the 10 years coming. So I start, and I want to, uh, when you be in the Mr. Universe, I don't know where you will be, 
and as I always say, so you should be 60 years old, you know, and people who have 20 years old look the same. Anyway, the skin, the brain, everything. So I have to be ready for that, and now I'm 20 years old. This is why I have to go to discotheque and to stay young, you know. <laughs> You know, the Indian people, West Indian people, they are all of them big bad. Especially the black guy, you know? Like with Dave Jones. Dave Jones, you can sit on his body. I tell you, you have to. But, uh, uh, I never make too much squat. Squat gives you big battle. I never walk squat very heavy. That is uh, the thing it gives you really ha squat heavy and a lot. I make squat just with 70 kilo, and I try to don't do it because when you have a big bottom, 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 and uh, it kill your life. And you look smaller. If you have a small waist, small, so you look bigger in the top. And your legs look bigger. That's what I mean. Can you tell us how you train your shoulders? Shoulders, yeah. That is a special one. Because as I have a lot of trapezium, I don't want to increase it. That's natural. I never train it in my life. So I have to find exercise who don't train it too hard so and more you have trapezium more you have to train your your shoulders and sometimes more you train your shoulders more you have traps trapezium that's a very difficult thing and uh, i train every day every time i make lying on the floor and you know I'm going to show you. Okay. Les épaules, par terre. Okay. Now, nobody did it before, but they start to do it. Okay. You can do it in this way. Not too heavy weight. Seven, eight, nine, ten kilo. Okay? He walk. Here. Here. So when you say chest, side chest, you go look bigger. And you can do it there, do it here, or do it, you know, try the sweet different angles. And I make quite a lot of pinch uh, space behind it. Try to take it up or something. So I don't have to walk my trappers when I take it. We have to make, I, I walk about five exercise each uh, wood uh, workout. And 20, 20 to 30 sets. We have a muscle, uh, you have a muscle that we don't have, is hip. Okay? That's the difference between a man and, and a girl. Okay? So, small waist, hip. Huh? That you have to walk your hip like a other muscle. You have all this kind of exercise with a pulley. Yeah? yeah. For the girls. Yeah. With a pulley. You know, machine here. Like that. And so, the button, button, button. Huh? But the squat is good for you. Better squat is better for ladies than the men. That's a really uh, give you a nice uh, button. And you have uh, you can do the same thing standing with the same machine. Huh? Show huh? with huh? with the uh, weights. Huh? That's a. Uh, People, the so girls now, they don't do that. It's why they look a little bit like a man. 
on schist. The nature gives you this nice thing here <laughs> that everybody likes. <laughs> Every man like. So please keep it. And the way to keep it is that is not a muscle for the girls, it's gland and fat. So when you will be on diet, you will lose the fat and you will lose your nice thing. <laughs> try to try to keep it as long as possible and don't do bench press. Make a flat bench press, make incline because you walk here and will uh, will firm and keep the the bomb uh, okay and make <laughs> fly not not push with dumbbell but fly to walk here to keep it and incline to walk here <laughs> decline don't do bench press. When you will make bench press, you will have sh like chest like me. Okay. See. Four girls, you have this part and small thing here. <laughs> it's not good. Okay? So that's uh, different. And uh, a, a girl have, she has to have good abs. Good back, nice, nice uh, lady back, no. nice lady back, and good shape on the legs. Not a lot of definition like uh, Tom Platz on the legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for a man, but I don't think when you show the legs like that for a girl is not good. Try to stay a uh, uh, girls with maximum of muscle you can carry to stay to stay a girl. <laughs> don't try to copy us. Try, don't try to be a man. If you want to copy us, you have to go on stage with us. <laughs> and I don't think people will be. People say yes, it's a sport. We can go as far with it. We, we we want. Yes, it's a sport, but forget it's a art too. Okay, and uh, looking at this watch, he said, oh, it's six on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have to talk about the girl a little bit. And uh, what I want to say, you, you stop me. So, um, it's, it will be the same in the posing, for example. Stay feminine. You know, most muscular pose, I do it here because I, I know we are bodybuilders. We love that. That's the way you can see really the definition. But if I have to go somewhere, nobody is a bodybuilder. I don't do this kind of pose. Is the ugly pose. This. <laughs> but I know we bodybuilders like it. That's the only way to see the density of the muscle. But if I go to the TV or somewhere, I don't do that. I just stay. I want to be nice. Okay. So if it's ugly for a man, it's worse for a woman. In our federation, we paint that. We cannot do most muscular pose for a woman. And what I want to say about posing, you can have a good physique, and if you don't know how to show it, you miss something. The definition of posing is to the, is the art to show to in the cafe to hit hit to hide your fault and show your, your, your quality? No, your, is a, uh, the, the, uh, to, to hide your fault to, and show your, the best 
uh, the, the best part of your body. That is the way I see him posing. Okay? When, when you say you do what he says in the chair, right? Um, is that 20 to each incline, bench press? Um, oh goodness, I will be all the day and night in the gym. <laughs> 20 set together, in, or total. I will say, let's say eight set of bench press because that's the base, and after six set of each other. <clears throat> 27 set of each, but, <laughs> but in the beginning, I was making a lot of bench press. I make about uh, 15, maybe 15 bench press set of bench press, but only one is side after. So, everything that I've been on, uh, so we're going to speak about uh, nutrition. It's very quick. It is, uh, the thing you have to know in nutrition is you have three things in nutrition. Protein, carbo, and, and fat. Carbo is two different carbo. Just uh, complex one and the simple one. Simple one is this one who is always sweet. With, uh, in, uh, fruits, uh, sugar, candy, uh, any kind of thing sweet. And the uh, complex one is this one who is not sweet. Like uh, beans, rice, spaghetti. Uh, which one to eat? The complex one is better for a bodybuilder because most of them, they have protein on it. A, protein, a vegetable protein, that means uh, you have, they don't have all the amino acids. In this case, you have to take amino acids with the uh, uh, vegetable protein, with the uh, uh, complex carbo. And when to take it? Take it half, uh, two hours after eating, because uh, uh, amino acid is uh, predigest protein, so you have to take it when you make your digestion. <laughs> if you take it before, it will be used in your body as a protein itself. And when you eat the carbo, you won't help to make the protein uh, uh, good for your body. It will be uh, and the thirty percent of protein you will have in the lentil, for example, or the, or the rice will stay in your body in, as in fat. Okay, the protein, meat, fish, eggs. That's the best protein. Is they have already all the amino acids, the I mean 23 and the eight principal amino acids. So you don't need amino acid for them because they are already complete. The best one is uh, uh, chicken. You have fish, chicken. After you have all the weight, uh, they say horse because we eat horse in France. And we have uh, uh, co, and you have uh, pork is the worst one. But if you, you can eat pork if you want, when you go on contest, but you have to eat only meat, no carbo at all. Because you can eat meat, uh, fat and meat, the fat cannot be used in your body if you don't put carbo with him. But you must not eat even salad, okay? You can eat, if you, uh, salami, when you're on diet, you, not, you won't put fat on your body. But sal salami alone, without bread, is off. The bread makes it good. So if you eat it with bread, you will put wet on uh, fat. And fat, I mean fat, you have, no, any food you eat, not any, but the food, you will have fat. fat uh, carbo and protein. Fat, if possible, take it away. No butter, 
know, uh, you know, you know, try to have your calories from the carbo, uh, complex carbo, because if you eat a complex carbo, you will get the protein. If you eat complex carbo plus a uh, 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 quick carbo, uh, simple carbo, you will use the simple carbo first because it go uh, uh, quicker in your metabolism. And then you will use the other one. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't train enough, you will stain your body and you and the protein won't help. So I never use, I, I try to eat minimum uh, simple carbo in my life uh, since uh, uh, I know that. <laughs> a, a, um, so I use a lot of uh, uh, carbo, complex carb, lentils, you have 30% of protein, uh, soya beans, same, less in the, uh, in the spaghetti, less in the rice, that means that there, you have more carbo, uh, more protein in the lentils than in the meat. Meat is, they say, fish or uh, chicken is about 18% of protein. So you ask me why I don't use uh, lentil when I'm diet. But to, uh, the, uh, I will tell you, because you didn't ask me, <laughs> that uh, when you eat um, uh, chicken, you have only uh, the protein and the water. But now, in the lentil, you have 30% of protein, but 70% of, uh, of uh, uh, the uh, carbo. So when you're on diet, you cannot eat so much uh, lentil. You have to be careful to eat enough just to train, and but never more than you uh, you spend in the day. Okay. Um. What else I can tell you about nutrition? And uh, you need one one third of protein in vegetable, pro vegetable protein, and two thirds pro uh, protein animal protein. So try to eat every day. Let's say someone who uh, a bodybuilder need about one uh, one point five gram by body by kilo of body weight. That means one hundred kilo. You need one hundred gram, one hundred fifty gram of protein a day just to stay without uh, progression. So if you want to pro progress. Take twice more, once so I make 300 grams of protein a day. Meal and supplement, 300 grams. And you have to divide it like that, 100 grams of protein, vegetable protein, and 200 grams of animal protein.